Hi, this is Jean Hansen, and today I'm starting a series of recordings that's going to help you get started with your cleaning business. We're going to go step by step through the whole process, and we're going to do it with a series of short recordings that aren't going to take up a whole lot of your time. You'll be able to listen at your leisure or listen when you have a few extra minutes. So today, we're going to start by asking if entrepreneurship is really for you. Are you really ready to start a cleaning business? But before you can even start thinking about your cleaning business, you need to decide if this is something that you'll be able to do. There are a lot of risks with starting a business. There's a lot of planning and preparation that needs to happen. You really need to start by evaluating your own strengths and weaknesses. As a potential business owner, you want to consider some of the following questions. First of all, are you a self-starter? It's going to be totally up to you to develop this business. You're not going to have a boss standing beside you telling you what you need to do. You have to be totally self-motivated and you have to be a self-starter. Next thing you want to think about is how well do you get along with different types of people. As a business owner, you're going to be dealing with many different personality types. You're going to have to deal with potential customers, with your employees, with vendors, with bankers, with your attorney, with an accountant. All these people have different types of personalities. Are you going to be able to deal with this on a regular basis or do you get irritated easily? Again, as a small business owner, you need to keep yourself motivated and you need to be able to get along with other people. Here's something else you want to think about. Are you good at making decisions? Some people hem and haw over every little decision. You'll be making a lot of decisions as a business owner. Most of the time you'll need to make those decisions fast. So how are you going to handle certain situations? Are you going to be able to make those fast decisions? Here's the next thing you want to think about. Do you have the physical and emotional stamina to run a cleaning business? When you're a business owner, it can be really exciting, but it can be a lot of work. Some people have no idea how much work. You might be working 12 to 18 hour days, 6 to 7 days a week. You're going to be worn out physically and emotionally. Do you have the stamina to handle it? Sometimes motivation and desire alone aren't enough, so you need to take care of yourself both physically and emotionally. Are you organized? Are you a planner? You need to be able to plan your business. You need to be able to keep yourself organized because if you are unorganized, your organization is going to be unorganized. Do you have enough drive? Do you have enough passion to run a business? Again, it can wear you down emotionally. A lot of business owners burn out quickly because they're carrying around all this responsibility on their shoulders. And sometimes motivation can help carry you through. The next thing to think about is how is this business going to affect your family? Are they going to be behind you or are you going to be in this by yourself? It's very difficult to run a successful business if you don't have your family behind you. Your family also has to realize that as a business owner, you may not always be available like you would be if you were working a 9 to 5 job. You may not be home at 5 or 6 for dinner. You could make it a goal to be home as much as possible, but it may not always be possible, especially when you're first getting started. So again, your family has to be on board for this. Okay, well that's it for this time. When I join you the next time, we're going to discuss why some businesses fail and how you can avoid that. We're also going to discuss some of the qualities and similarities of successful entrepreneurs. Do you have some of these qualities? Is it born in an entrepreneur or can you develop those skills? So we'll talk to you next time.